This is exercise 21-1-1-A, creating simple blocks, and exercise 21-1-2-A, saving blocks to a folder library. We are in the blocks drawing file in the steps lesson 21 folder. We'll be making a block out of this door here. You can begin the block command by typing block or the B hotkey. Alternately, you can pick block on the tool palette. AutoCAD presents the Define Block dialog box. First thing we want to do is give our block a name. Uh, in this case, this will be our door block. We can select our objects, the objects that will go into our block. So hit enter to go back to the dialog box. And here you'll tell AutoCAD, do you want to convert these items to a block in this drawing? Do you want to retain the objects or do you want to delete the objects? We'll go ahead and let it convert these to, uh, convert these to a block. The base point is actually the insertion point. We'll use the button and we will make the insertion point for the door the midpoint there. Now you can make the block annotative, which we want to do. You can allow exploding on a normal block. If you have a block with attributes, uh, and we'll discuss attributes in Lesson 22, if you have a block with attributes you probably don't want to allow exploding because you'll lose the information that's been attached to the block. In this case we'll make our blocks basic units inches you want to, you can add a description. This is a door, like so. Then you just pick the button to create your block. Now we'll move on to exercise 2112A, saving blocks to a folder library. What you have here is a drawing. You can save this drawing as a template and any drawings that are created from that template will have these blocks available to it. What we're going to do though is we're going to export this block into a folder library which will become available to anyone who has access to the folder. To do that you'll enter the write block command W block, use the hotkey W or you can use the block flyout and select write block. AutoCAD presents the write block dialog box. First thing we'll want to do is create or tell AutoCAD where to save our block. We'll save the block as door and we want to save it to the steps lesson 21 folder. Okay, we want to use an actual block that already exists so I'll put a bullet there and I'll select the block that we want to export. It gives us a little picture. Notice that when I'm creating a block for a folder library and I'm using a block that already exists that the source objects and the base point frames are grayed out. That's because this information was part of the block when it was created. The block unit is in inches. We'll pick right block and AutoCAD has created the block as part of that particular folder. We can hide AutoCAD, go to the steps folder look in the Lesson 21 folder and there's the block that we just created. 